Day 36 on the free to play. I figured it's a good time to check in how we're doing with all these tournaments events with the fusion going on, what that means for my account and how excited I am for tomorrow, almost literally 24 hours from now when we have a two X for ancient shards. And I've got like over 40 in the bank. <laughs> Welcome on the Deadwood Jedi. This is the free to play. We are playing Raid Shadow Legends and we're on that road to Ultra Nightmare. Now it's getting a little bit closer to where we were before. And it's not like I've pulled anything amazing or new. I definitely have some new champions, right? You guys might have seen my last shard pull where I got a dupe. I got some pretty bad pulls, pretty bad pulls. In my opinion, um, I was able to get was it a dupe? Miscreated monster right here. I got myself. I actually got myself uh, an a Laric who is, you know, pretty useless as well. I finally got my high Katoon from day 30. Um, but, you know, in the meantime, I've really just been on the grind. I've been grinding, trying to get my account to a point where I'm ready to get my next six star, hopefully my next two six stars, and really rank up some champions I'm hoping to get tomorrow. Uh, the reason why, as you can see, the clan CVC just ended. We got some... You know, I got a free ring out of that, which isn't bad. We were able to get all of our objectives out of that. So we got, you know, five star chicken, four star chicken, got some good stuff. So that's always good. Yes, yes, yes. We know that finished. Um, but look at all the shards I have saved up. You know, I was ready when this fusion began. I was ready to actually compete to get it. And the only reason why I'm not getting it is because it was pretty statistically unlikely. I had to win a tournament to get enough extra fragments to get this champion. But I really think I could have completed everything else. I've pretty much completed all the events up till now. There are a couple that I just was like, ah, eh, it's not that important because I knew I wouldn't be able to finish the fusion. So I didn't bother finishing those events. But if I knew I could, I would have pushed it. I would have made it happen. I would have found a way. Um, as it is, I still have a bunch of gems. Obviously I have a bunch of shards. You can see here, I was able to finish pretty high in the champion training tournament. I got in third, but you can see that huge gap between first and second and me in third. If that gap was smaller, I might have been able, I probably would have gone for it, right? If I, if it was smaller, if it was a reasonable gap to overcome, I would have gone for it. In which case I probably would have been able to complete the fusion. But as it was, that just wasn't practical. I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to be able to get that. Uh, 15,000 points was just like way too much for me. I do know uh, one of my teammates, Pogo, was able to win his tournament with like 13,000, which is pretty darn good in my opinion. Um, that's still a lot of points. I think I probably could have got there if that was what I was really pushing for. But, you know, considering all that, I would have had to blow all these shards to finish the summons event. I was just like, it's not worth it. Um, I was also able to finish, I think you can see here, I was able to finish uh third in uh one of the, one of the other ones uh what was that champion training that's champion training oh i'm sorry in yes i was finished third in which one's that spider the spider event right um so i was able to finish third in that um generally i've been doing pretty good this is the point i've been doing pretty good in all the things and it's good to have some bonus resources coming out of it and something to shoot for I haven't blown all my gems. I thought I would, but I did not, which is great. Um, and you know, basically we got some, some stuff going on. Okay. We've got the lover's path is coming up. This is the hero path event. This just dropped right now. So we get to like, literally, I'm going to watch this with you guys for the first time. Uh, this is interesting. You get some, this is really interesting. Actually, it's a way to get blessings for not only the fusion champion here and obviously, oh my God, those fragments are so far down so are these oh this is this sounds awful but you can see you're able to get some blessings for some other champions along the way um some smaller blessings which is kind of an interesting kind of an interesting event i suppose if you have one of these legendaries rhodos stiffy venus cupidus if you have one of them this is a good way to get some uh, blessings without costing a lot. I mean, that's not going to cost a lot. You're talking about, well, actually, wait, you have to get the key. He's here. So 1,000, 2,000, 350, no, 450, uh, 550, 675, uh, 
at 695 that makes that 7 850 uh or 75 yeah 675 25 goes to that yeah eight oh eight thousand that's right it is eight thousand and no that's not right 675 plus 750 is 750 all right basically 7500 so 8000 you need 8000 points to get the key and then another 3000 to get whichever blessing you want 11,000 for a blessing. I guess that's that's not crazy amount. Not cheap, but it's not crazy. The cool thing is it looks like you can just beeline it straight down here. Pick up Ankara. You don't even have to get the other key if you don't want to. Just come straight down and get the fragments. And then the blessing's a lot more. Blessing's an extra 50,000, which is kind of preposterous. But the way, you know, these usually work is you come you come here to the key, you can just choose either side, so you don't have to go down both of them. So, okay. So, it's 8,000, or it's 11,000 points to get the ten, the five fragments, and then it's going to be another, what is it? Uh, eight. Uh, eight plus nine is 17. Plus... 6,000 is 23, another 23,000 to get the 10 fragments. So you're talking 34,000 overall. 23,000 plus the original 11,000. 11,000 for the five, 23 for the 10. And I think that's the cheapest way to do it. Everything up through here, because you can basically straight shot all the way through, all the way down. Pass that first key to Ankara's shards, and then you're gonna want to stay on that side because it's cheaper than the other side, eight thousand. And then switch sides over here because again it's nine thousand, which is cheaper. And then you get the shards right there um, for another seventeen, basically, or another twenty-three thousand. So thirty-four thousand overall. Uh, I'm interested to see how the points are coming breaking down. So leveling up and ranking, it doesn't seem like it's any different from the last hero past. Uh, you can get it from artifacts as well. I don't know. I don't know which is the best approach. Um, honestly, I'm not quite sure. Uh, but you guys can kind of figure that out. I don't. I honestly don't know. I don't know what's going to be the best approach. Generally, I think it's the leveling up the champions, right? I mean, 60 times 18. That's right. Like almost. That's about a thousand points, give or take, right? That's about a thousand points just to level one of these up fully. And then of course, ranking it up. So yeah, you can kind of see. Then not shouldn't be crazy, crazy points to get the fragments. It's a lot though. It's a lot. This is why I don't like this. Um, I don't like the fact that we only have 10. I feel like we should have been able to skip 15 so that we could either skip the hero path event or we could skip one of the, the summoning events, right? That to me, would have made sense, but say la vie. It's not my choice, not my event. Somebody else designed it, and you know, they did it in a way that made us super happy. But look, this is a free to play. I'm not too into that, right? I know I'm my account right now with the free to play. I'm probably not even worried about this, right? I don't think there's anything in here that I'm eager to get. One thing I will be able to get some extra shards, but I don't need this blessing for Yumiko or Cardiel. I don't need the blessings. You know, I mean, I'm, you know, I could use some blessings. I'm not, don't get me wrong, but it's not like I'm desperate for them. And even if I are in, on my free to play, they're not going to do me any good, frankly, just on my main. Um, otherwise, it's just some free bonus resources, really, is what I'm looking at here. And the resources aren't, you know, what I would call amazing. So I'm not even super fussed about it. Um, it's not even a big deal to me. Now, the one thing I do want to keep an eye on is the champion chase tournament. I don't think there's any chance of me winning it. But if for some reason I happen to be in a group that is just not competing in it, now all of a sudden I have a chance to actually win it. I have a lot of resources. Obviously, you saw the shards. I plus I have a bunch of fusions. So there's going to be some points on my side for the champion chase. So if I can complete it and I can get a lot of points out of it, it is conceivable that then I would be pushing to get those fragments so I could actually get this fusion. The ridiculous assertion. Ridiculous, it's not gonna happen, but well, keep that in mind. It is always a possibility. Um, day one of the artifact event, I'm like, I'm in it. You know, it's gonna be a while for me to grind that up. I just don't have the silver, unfortunately. 
um, which is kind of a negative dungeon diver kind of similar. I'm doing better than that for sure because campaign has been a big thing. And this is my goal because I have all these shards, because we have a 2x for ancients coming up, which is like the best thing for my free to play. Talk about getting epics, right? It's going to be great. I'm trying to get enough food. That's my goal is to get food. So I already have all the pieces to get Rodma. So I'm going to use her. That's going to be like the first thing once the champion chase event starts. Use Brodma. Right, right. Or fuse for the champions to fuse Brodma. And then I got to level them up. But that's going to get a bunch of stuff out of my vault. And then I'm going to do the same thing to get Templar, right? Again, fuse them, knock it out of the way, put them on my team. And then I'll have a bunch of space. Uh, I also have five pieces of food here, five five star food. So as soon as I do get a champion to level up to six star, I'll be ready to go, right? As soon as I get them five star, I'll have them ready to go. But the rest of my food, rest of my champs, you can see it's a bunch of three star stuff. I'm getting ready to level up and rank up what I pull. That's my objective right now is I only have three six stars on my account. It's definitely on the low side as far as, you know, everybody goes. I have plenty of champions that are four star and 40 that I'm ready to feed now, right? I've been through it. I'm ready to dump Petrifia. I'm ready to dump uh, my, you know, this guy. I can't remember his name. Uh, the Al Alchemist. That's not right. Al Al Alco wizard. I don't remember. I don't remember how it goes, but his he's his, that that's another guy. I'm ready to level him up, rank him up, send him to the vault. Same thing with this guy. This guy that's for miscreated monster. The dupe. Yeah, I can sacrifice that. Oh, yeah. Let's not forget this guy. I have champions and I'm ready to rank up to five star just to be food to six star somebody else. I've just been waiting because I didn't want to blow those resources on a champion. I didn't need to. I don't need to six star miscreated monster or I don't need to re six star man eater if I'm going to use them for clan boss and an unkillable team. Five star will do the job. Six star helps. Sometimes you need it for the banner to get some more speed, but really five star does the job, right? I haven't six starred Vogoth because again, five star does the job. I'd love to six star him, make him tankier, help him absorb more uh, damage from the, his allies. I don't need to, right? Same thing with Runic Warder. I'm getting that reflect damage. I'm getting the heals. He even brings a decrease attack. It's actually really good for a rare champion for my team. Kind of essential right now, but I don't need to six star him. So I want to wait until I pull that sacred, those voids, those ancients, see what I get, and then decide who I'm six starring next. Because I could get an absolute broken champion out of that, right? I could get an absolute broken champion. I could get myself a uh, a cold brawler who you might think is kind of meh, but for my account right now, huge, consistent, steady poisoner. I could get uh, an Ur an Urogrim would be amazing, right? An Ugo would be outstanding. There's so many champions that could absolutely transform my account. I mean, that's not really even talking about the uh, void shards, right? Or like a Demitha or a Warcaster or even a pain keeper would absolutely change everything I'm doing in this game. It would make my clan boss seem finished, essentially, right? Just any of those shapes. Another man eater would do the same, right? Any of those would be absolutely game breakers for my account. But, you know, that's that's not the sacreds. That's not the ancients, which can be incredibly powerful, too. If I could get a Mordecai, if I could get a Farrak in the fat, you know, HP burn is absolutely something I need. Whether I'm getting a Skrank from my Void or I'm getting even a Bulwark, I think would be really, really useful for my team. Getting that HP burn would be a massive boost to my damage and something I'd really like to get on my account. So that's, you know, one of the things I'm really looking forward to getting. It hopefully, is an HP burn champion. In addition to that, I'd like to get an AoE decreased defense champion because I really don't have that on my account. The glaring, the glaring weakness. I wouldn't mind getting a reviver, uh, you know, a, like a, what do you call it, like a Rector Drath type champion, or even like a Reliquary Tender. But I think once I get Broadma, I should be in good shape. Uh, Broadma is absolutely insane these days. Like, not insane, but it's extremely good for a starter account. He revives two allies and puts block damage on them, which is a huge buff to place on them because it means that they'll survive. A lot of times you revive somebody, they're already so low health, they just get knocked down again. With that, 
that's not the case. It's a huge boost to him. Not to mention, increased crit rate, increased speed buff. That's also massive. Increased speed with the turn meter boost for everybody, in addition to the revive, is really, really nice. Plus a pretty solid 45% chance of freeze on that A1. Oh yeah, the other thing with this uh, block, this revive ability, it's on a four turn cooldown, which is super rare. Like there's very few champions. Most of them are legendary that have that on a four turn cooldown. That's actually really, really nice. So yeah, kind of an insane champion to get early on. So I'm not too fussed about getting a reviver. What I think I really need instead of that necessarily is like I said, some better debuffers in particular, um, and maybe some better healers. Healing is lackluster. Vogos great for sustaining my team, but not really healing them back up. Something that Broadma actually isn't good at and would be nice. So getting somebody like a Rector Drath would be pretty boss, right? Because Rector Drath would provide some healing in addition to the revive, right? That's definitely something I would like to have on my team. Um, but I'd love to get a Thalesia with an AOE decreased defense. Um, there's so many champions out here that would really do a lot for my account. A Doom Priest would be a great champion, right? Another add to champion to add. But here's the thing. I got 40 Ancients on a 2X. It wouldn't be out of the realm of crazy for me to get 10 epics out of that. I mean, it'd be pretty ridiculous. I'd be averaging two and a half per 10 pull. It's a lot, a lot. But I've seen it done before. I've done it before. So certainly in the realm of possibility. So I would love to be able to get a lot of quality epics, right? You know, I, and the truth of the matter is I only need like one or two really good champions. The harder part is going to be those void shards. Like I'm really, I'm really desperate for a pain keeper. <laughs> That's kind of something that I really need to fix with my man. My man eater is so good, but man eater by himself is not enough. So I need somebody something somebody to work with my man eater to give me an unkillable team that's gonna be pretty big a seeker would be amazing a seeker would be amazing for my account or deacon armstrong right? either one but yeah i need i need something to i need something to pull down man eater's turn meter or complement him this is where a war caster would work this is where a pain keeper would work or another man eater would work but i also this is the other thing. I also could utilize somebody that gives me a big turn meter boost, like a Seeker, like a Deacon, to allow me to burn through the five turn cooldown that Man Eater has. That would be really nice. So, yeah, a Deacon, a Seeker, those would be great. Those would be great. Um, this is where I hate the fact that there's so many champions in this game, because then I'm like, uh, it could be a bit of a challenge. Could be a bit of a challenge to get there. So, yeah. Yeah. It's going to be it's going to be tough, but I've been feeling really good so far. By the way, I am number two in our Sand Devil chase. I'm debating whether I should even bother to try for first. I mean, it's such a I mean, it's 100 percent run on stage seven. There's miscreated monster just doing his thing, but it's like, you know, I get hardly any points because it takes them like 400 turns to do it. So it's I'm not sure it's really worth it. But there we go. 22 hours and my account will change forever but I'm super excited super excited not only am I getting I don't know almost 50 new champions on my account that's gonna be like 50 new pieces of food too so it's gonna be hopefully a lot easier to rank up and level up some of these guys I'm really nervous about it I'm really nervous because this is gonna make or break my account if I get good pulls this contest all of a sudden I feel like I, I feel like myself and my team start shooting up towards the top. Bad pulls, and we we might really be at the bottom on this one. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm really excited. That's kind of want to put. It's kind of like a, a self hype video. I'm hyped by it. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna you know pay off. I'm kind of wondering if I maybe should pull these these soul stones. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait to see what I get tomorrow, and then we'll figure it out. Uh yeah, I'm excited about this. I'm excited by this, guys. Should be fun so anyway that's the plan for tomorrow hopefully you guys are there ready for it too that's all we got that's all we got guys so anyway thanks for watching appreciate you and uh till next we meet i'm the deadwood jedi <laughs>